Hello everybody, I'm Raphael Perry, and it's time for some more of Eratus, Lord of the Dead. Now, we've made it up to the second dungeon level, and it's time to plot our route to the enemy. Now, the boss at the end of this level is the inventor and it's all about surviving the damage he can deal to us and smashing up his pylons quickly. So some kind of damage dealing team would be very helpful. However, something like this might be very effective on the next level up, so we want to be thinking about building for the next level as well. Also, I'm pretty sure there are some very effective minion combinations I haven't tried yet, so I should experiment a little more. Right, there we are. And we want to avoid okay, gold. Avoid gold foes, because they are dangerous and difficult. Interestingly, I'm not seeing any skull and crossbone encounters on this level whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> okay yeah so we're not going that way we're not going this way hmm. we're going this, this way by the look of it might be getting rusty. or that way right let's see whichever way these we take is healing then we've got berserker or warrior story event or a grave well graves are good yeah, we're going this way, aren't we? Okay. Before we do that, however... Hey, I like how there's a little, um... A little one of those little glass balls of the snow, like a snow globe. For the crystal ta ball talent, we've got a Christmas bauble here and a few more around here. It's very festive looking, they haven't given us an update to tidy up the Christmas stuff yet. Oh, there's another one there, right? Okay. Do I have any funky artifacts I can use? Uh, yes, I have some. That might be worth saving for the final encounter on this level. Enemies can't escape or be inspired. I mean, that would be nice, but... Oof. Braces of madness. Interesting. A lot of these are single-use items. Okay, I'll hold off on that. So we do have a talent point to play with. And in all honesty, destruction and magic are looking a bit underserved. Um, okay, so the accuracy is the main benefit of the whip. Um... I think I'm going to go Destruction, actually, and get the Bone Spear. There we go. How are we doing in here? We've got two healing. One learning. And there. So it would be nice to start building up some more minions. It would also be nice to consider the quality of components. Um... We don't have a shade yet, do we? If I create a shade... Ooh, maybe not with those. But I could do... some stuff related to wrath and, and mana and... Stress damage. Well, sanity damage. However, I feel I've been underappreciating the Wraith. Evasion and luck. Okay, let's Lepaft do it. The path is signed. Let's hope there was no fine print. We'll leave him there and start building a team to go with him. I, I want to make that headhunter again, but don't have all the parts yet. Okay. 
Let us proceed with the healing. And then let's have a look. Warrior, two berserkers, and the what's it? The trader, the pipe smoker, the uh, crit paranoia checker. Apologize for sound in advance. All good. Right. I'm thinking for this, I might be able to get away with the gambling chip. So I'm going to try it. Because I have a new spell that I want to try out. Oh no, Banshee against Berserkers, that could be a problem. Alright, let's get rid of his ward. There we go. Um, uh, sure. There we go. Uh oh. Give them no mercy. Oh yes. Twenty Ooh. damage, lovely. Okay, that's working really nicely. Let's do even more damage to him. Excellent. Uh, let's give him some stress since his ward is gone. Oh, lovely. We're over 40 over these last few heartbeats. Let's do lots of stress. Da oh, okay. Lots of stress damage. If we had a shade here, that would be amazing. Oh! How dare you! Can't do that to me. I can't kill you before your next turn. That's revolting. Right. So, blood first, obviously, because the remaining free foes will still be significant danger to us. Although, admittedly, when he does do a runner. That's, that's not enough damage. Okay, okay, okay. Free damage is still not enough. <laughs> hmm. I really can't stop him, can I? I'm, gonna, I'm trying to force a heart attack here, but he's just going to get away. Oh, that's bad. Whew. Well, that's pretty nasty as well, though. Right. Uh, we are a critical 45% chance. We're trying for that crit. Carve open their hut. Yes. Good. She might survive after all. We're going to try for a heart attack here. And we are going to try so very... Oh! Really now? They're all running away. That's so unfair! Right. My kingdom comes! Uh, that was supposed to be the stress one. Oh well. English hope. Okay, not good enough for a stress kill. Then again, that was. As your suffering ends, your service begins. So now we have more components. We might be able to do an upgrade. We want that headhunter. We want him so very badly. It was the second weapon we needed, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Um, we can do a dust upgrade. Mm, gonna regret world. this, but hey. Oh, that could actually work quite nicely. All right, let's do it. Hmm. 
and let's go and see what lingering essence of life lurks in this soon-to-be-opened grave. All right. Oh, this is, these are all good. Uh, so we've already made a wraith recently. We could have the blood elemental or the dark knight. We have a dark knight. Let's have the blood elemental. We'll pop him there. And... Well, this is about to get interesting. So if we create some other kind of... What do we need? The very thing we just squandered. Of course. How lovely. How delightful. Oh, uh, like a mummy. Do we have a mummy already? Maybe. We do. All right. And we need something to put here, don't we? Yes. Yes, we do. Uh, ghoul would be a possible choice. So for here, or back, we don't want to muck. have another plus soul. If I want to throw these at the next encounter... Well... Let's start with the easy stuff first. These two get healed up. So I might as well put these to work here. Hmm... Right, I'm not expecting any of these to be ready to level, but actually... Ooh... Okay... So if we pop him in there... We can then drop her in here... Put the skeleton here... And the zombie gets to sit this next one out. So, if I want ashes, what do I make them from? Aha, dust. Oh, wait, no, I need uh, transmutation, don't I? So, if I want dust, I make them from rags. Do I have plenty of rags? Actually, yes, let's do it's that. It's no gold, but it will do. And we will create our Iceman. We can give him an armor upgrade as well. Let's do that, but only to green. Ugh. <laughs> uh, okay. It's better than nothing. Chill of the grave walking. Alright, so. Two threes, two twos. Give you a free. Give you a two, because I'm a bit less familiar with you and I'm aware how dumb that is. You a two, and you are free to try and give you a little more survivability. Okay, so with you, we absolutely want this. And then, this is quite nice as well. So, removing buffs, 30% more damage from the source for two turns, 40, doesn't remove the buffs. I'm going to go for the buff removal, of course I am. My enemies are in for a nasty surprise. Does render him more vulnerable, though. Okay. Mm. So, Cold Grasp is good from the front two. He's unlikely to be in the front two. Oh, you. Um, transfusion front free. Good. Um, so that's more healing. That is increase their attack stats. We will go with this this time. 
Now for you... So that's aimed, that's luck. We do have quite a bit of luck so far. You know what, on that front... 50... Move block. Right, okay, yeah, sure. High luck indeed. So coming back to the Wraith, let's see. So Cold Grass deals a lot of damage, and it's magic damage. Can't move, or also critical hits do a lot more damage. That would give him Dread, that would give him Evasion. So do we then have a... Yes, we do. There's a stress attack right there. And he's currently working from the back ranks. I mean, I'm, I'm thinking Ghostly Fire is likely to be our most used skill at the moment. However, Ghostly Veil. We could work on that luck for the critical hits, taking it up to a measly five. Oh, he's going to need some kind of items, isn't he, if that's going to get any higher. Okay. But yeah, let's say Ghostly Fire is going to get used a lot. So... 35, 25... Two turns... So that's doing less ongoing damage. For the, does he have a physical attack? Not really. Right, so there's almost no reason to get this at all unless I miss it. Oh, wait, wait. Chosen target and two enemies behind it. Right, extra target. That's what that one is. So it's spreading the effect. Whereas that isn't spreading the effect. Um, 45, 45. But it's more damage. I'm going to go that wow. one. Prove yourself worthy of my investment. All right. Oh, and because you can do physical damage, but only from the front two positions, so I'm not going to give you this yet. I'm going to hold on to this. Alright. This could be an utter disaster. Let's find out. Hmm. Uh, yeah, so... I haven't been able to record very much recently. There's been constant interruptions. I just haven't been able to find the time. And so it, it's nice to be getting back into the swing of things again a little bit. Uh, let's just go for some nice... Oh, I went for... Okay. Fair enough, then. Just working through his wards and blocks there. Because that spellcaster has got to go. He's a high priority target. Yeah, you just get stunned. Yeah. Alright, yeah, you can do a lot of damage back. That's not good for us. Oof. Do I have a... No, I don't. Okay. Oh, wait, yeah, hang on. Catch fire. Thank you. Don't mind if you do. In fact, you can burn through them longer. Within flames. Hmm. So this seems... Oh... Yeah, uh, let's try and... I mean, you take that on the block anyway. This may be dumb. Because now they're all just going to ignore him and not attack him. <laughs> oh, okay. Hmm. You know what? You get hit hard. It would be tempting to try and stress him down, but this one in front is so badly injured, we might as well go for physical damage for him. I uh, will try for that stun again. Your frail bodies oh, fail yes. you. 
So he's pretty much taken care of at this point. Even though he's not, obviously. Um, that actually works quite nice for this, please. So he gets the healing there, that's great. We'll go for random targets again. Because we, we're taking them down reasonably well at the moment. We should not be this confident, however. And then, yeah. That was less damage than I'd hoped for. <laughs> and ow. Okay, we'll just throw another Ice Spirit at him because he's on fire! It, it's almost as if the Unfrozen has a thing about fire and ice. Is that too obvious? Maybe. This will be your end. Ooh. That worked well. Unlucky. So he doesn't have the one, one of the ones that does cause some damage to him. Oh, wow. Alright, we don't like you doing that, so get hit hard. Get hit even harder. And that worked out perfectly. All right. Hey, look. You. Oh, okay. Right. We'll just go like that then. Yes. So maybe this will take you down. And it did. That's lovely. And possibly, if we're really lucky, after this fight, I should be using rough skills very soon. What is this? A uh, big stress attack for all targets. Okay. Um. Let's just... Come on! How many times do I have to click that button? It was about four or five. We used a rough skill. Roth has diminished. Well, he's determined to make sure we take quite a bit of damage before we are finished here. I should have gone with Cold Embrace there, but I didn't. My will is a tide that mm. will wash away your pathetic civilizations. That hex bomb looks like a brain. Alright, let's replenish our numbers. And pay attention to the fact that actually I've been recording for a reasonable short amount of time now. And it might be a good point to end the episode. Oh, right. Yeah, you know what? I, I think I will do that. Obviously, some of these will be going to heal. And we have a story event. Might as well do that now. Yes. Go on, then. What we got? Dark times push mortals to desperation. Desperation pushes them to fight, and not always against you. The dwarfs have always oppressed their prisoners for too long, and with their forces stretched thin due to your invasion, it was inevitable that some captives would use this opportunity to take revenge. Your spies report that there is a large number of humans fighting against a substantial and well-armed dwarven force. It is likely that this uprising is going to be short-lived, silenced by the fires of Dwarven Flamethrowers, unless you intervene somehow. That... That shouldn't be a separate sentence. It would be silenced by the fl fires of Dwarven Flamethrowers unless you intervene somehow, or unless you intervene somehow, a different approach What? No, so this has to be the end of the sentence. All right. A different approach won't work, however. Showing up with your army will only provoke them to unite against you. Ah, oh, she's in the wrong party. Okay. Uh, we'll wait for them to finish and then pick off the victors. Ah. Uh. <laughs> okay. You've got a flamethrower. Have a warm end, my friend. We'll set you on fire. I mean, 
What's good for the goose is good for the gander, right? Oh god, three berserkers. With the unfrozen as well. I mean, the infested, who's all about the stress damage. Yeah, that's not going to end badly at all, is it? Uh oh, right, that's a problem. That's actually quite a big problem. Right, will any one of these force him back? And pretty much the answer is no. So. Ugh. So we don't have the perfect party of minions for this encounter. Not by a long chunk. However, we do have some who can be useful. Your frail bodies fail me. I mean, these two lovely ladies are useful in almost any situation anyway. However... Ooh. Invert maladies removing debuffs? Okay. Well, we'll just give them some more of that cursed stress then. He's a big problem and he needs to be dealt with before he burns us too much more. Jab stab. Yeah, how'd you like that, eh? You got knifed. We're gonna try and move you to a random location. If the skill still does that. Oh, it does, how beautiful. Now we're feeling a lot better. Alright. Could be a lot worse. Hey. Have some stress. Alright, alright. Can we kill you? Yeah! Excellent. And maybe... Ah, you're not quite fail. enough. Bodies fail. Close, though. And he's no longer a threat to us. Courtesy of his companion. Uh oh, well, not the right tool for the job. Forty-nine. Not good. And we don't have the. Okay, right. You two take stress damage. You never know, we might kill you. Right, actually, yeah. Ah, oh, it's magic attack, it's not stress attack. No. Extinction of life! Worked, though. Do some more stress damage. Bloody hell. He's actually getting pretty dangerous now, right. Uh, Ursula or Gertrude or whatever your Eastern European vampiric oh, name is. Thank you for finishing them off. These dwarfs put up uh, quite a fight despite having already sustained injuries. Their strength will be better put to use with your breathless army. Vampire, fallen dampier, dead dead useless victim who's dead need lock well that's bad almost buggy worthy taking a screenshot so I can maybe report that later banshee yeah okay well, that's a shame and there's a nasty enemy group up ahead which I will leave until the next episode so I hope you've all enjoyed this one might be a little on the short side and I will look forward to seeing you all in the next episode. But I'm going to say bye-bye for now and cheerio!